In Algebra 2, Section 4.1, we're dealing with graphing quadratic equations. Now, a quadratic equation is basically an equation that has an x squared in it. Okay? So there's a quadratic term, which is the term in front of the x squared. There's a linear term, which is the, pro the um, <coughs> coefficient in front of the x, and a constant that has no x next to it. Now, the graph of a quadratic function is called a parabola. So it's this U-shaped image right here. It could be facing up, it could be facing down, but they all have the same pro um, properties. The one difference is if it's facing down, then it has something called a maximum. If it's facing up, then it has something called the minimum. And that minimum is a turning point. So it'll go up, 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 I mean that maximum, up, 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 and once it hits the vertex and its maximum, it starts going down. Same thing with this. So a parabola has an axis of symmetry. That means if you take it at its vertex and fold it in half, um, you have equal parts. So once we find the vertex, then I can find one side of the U and then the other side of the U. So unlike lines, when you are just doing negative 2, negative 1, and negative 0, you know when you do the charts, on lines you just do negative 2 up until positive 2 for the x's and plug it in. This one, you have to first find the vertex, and the vertex tells you where the exact middle is. Then you find two x's on the left and two x's on the right, and those are the four points that you graph, and you should be able to get a u-shaped. Now, the axis of symmetry hits the vertex exactly, um, I mean, it hits it exactly on the vertex. So the equation that you need to know is x equals negative b over 2a. So you find these letters right here. If these letters are missing, um, like a B or C, then you just put zero in for it. But, so, I mean, so, so you plug it into this equation, and this gives you both the axis of symmetry and also the x in your vertex. And once you find the x, then you can plug in the x to find the y, and you'll have the point of your vertex. Once you've located the point, then you can choose two numbers on the left, two numbers on the right, plug it into your equation, and find it. And that's all confusing, and you need an example. Well, I'm going to do an example. So go ahead and pause this, write it down, and let's do an example. Okay, ducks, let's graph. So what this is asking us to do is to first graph, and I'm going to start by finding, well, first what I'm going to do is this is sort of out of order. So I'm going to put this in order. This is y equals 2 minus 4x plus x squared. I'm going to put the x squared first. I'm going to do the minus 4x next and the positive 2. This negative is attached to the 4x, so it's not, I can rearrange it any way I want as long as the signs in front of it join. And because this 2 is a positive, it ends up being a plus 2. So this gives us our a as 1, our b as negative 4, and our c as 2. Okie dokes. Our first step is to find the axis of symmetry. This will also give us the x for our vertex, because our next step is to find the vertex. And the equation is negative b over 2a. So it would be negative negative 4 over 2 times 1, which the negatives cancel out to be 4 over 2, which is 2. Okay? That's our axis of symmetry. And when we're doing our next step, which is the vertex, this actually then becomes the x-axis, and we just need to find the, the y. So that goes on there, and I'm going to plug this in to find my y. I'll plug it in into here. So either one actually will give you the right answer, but I'll just do it to this one so it'll help you do it to the original. So y equals 2 minus 4 times 2 plus 2 squared. We do 2 minus 8, and 2 squared is plus 8. Um, 2 minus 8 equals negative 6 plus 8, which would give me positive 2. So then this goes here. So once we find my vertex, I'm going to locate my vertex, which is 2 comma 2. So positive 2 up 2. This is my vertex, right? So my next step 
is now to create a table. Now, just like the one that I used for lines, I'm going to have my x, then I'm going to have the equation. 2 and then my y. No, sorry, plus x squared. Again, I can use this one or this one, it doesn't matter. I'm just using the original just cuts. Now, unlike the, um, the lines, the table, I, don't I can't just do negative 1, negative, I'm sorry, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. I have to pick numbers. So here's, this is, oh, this is not exactly 2. So, Here's two. I'm going to pick two numbers to the left of it. So one and zero. And then I'm going to pick two numbers to the right. So this is two and three. Sorry, three and four. And those are how I choose my x's. I can't just choose any. I find the vertex and then I choose my x's. So two minus four times one plus 1 squared is 2 minus 4 plus 1. This gives me negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. 2 minus 4 times 0 plus 0 gives me just 2. 2 minus 4 times 3 plus 3 squared gives me 2 minus 12 plus 9, which is negative 10 plus 9, which is negative 1. And then 4, 2 minus 4 times 4 plus 4 squared is 2 minus 16 plus 16, which is 2. Now I can graph. I have 1, negative 1. Is that right? Um, I have 0, 2. I have 3, negative 1. Or two. This is not looking right. Something happened here. Two minus eight plus two squared is four. So this should be four. So this should be negative two. That's what's wrong because this is not a U-shaped at all. This is, our vertex is supposed to be two, negative two. My apologies. The important thing is we catch our mistakes. All right, so, but still the X was right, so finding the two points here and two points here was, um, was right, okay? And so, when I connect them, especially if you use graph paper, it should give me a U-shaped parabola. Right? So go ahead and write this down. Try page 224, number 6. 224, number 6. Again, I'm sorry for the mistake, but I will see you in class.